him in there and had him welded up, put some black paint on there, and we were ready to roll again. Now another thing we should consider right now is how we end up mounting the finished motor and transmission. Here we can see the original engine mount. This is on the passenger side of the car towards the front. And that mount is a metal and rubber contraption that connects to the frame of the car from the engine. So right now we'll just want to keep in mind that we're going to somehow use that to hold up the motor. Now the other two mounts for this vehicle, one is right in the back. Uh, one of the other engine mounts is right down here in the middle back. Now that's actually on the transmission, not the engine. And since we're reusing the original transmission, uh, we're really not going to have to modify that. Uh, and the third mount is also on the transmission, uh, pretty much straight below the battery. Now another thing we want to think about here is what we have for room to work with inside the car for adding gauges, instrumentation, any of those sorts of things that we need. Uh, this is a pretty small car so we don't have a lot to work with. Uh, the original radio was removed so you could put some gauges in there. Um, I love having a radio so I would replace that. There's a little bit of extra room underneath it that's usable. There's an ashtray. I'm not a smoker so we could take that out. We do have the cigarette lighter. And one thing we wanna do is use a multimeter to test the cigarette lighter to see if that has power always on or if it's only on when the key's on. And that's the sort of thing that we could actually then use as a source of power for sort of the master on off for our car. We also have just a real basic cup holder down at the bottom. That's not really good for too much. So also right there might be a great spot for a gauge or two. Now this car has both a airbag in the steering wheel and one over on the passenger side. When we're done with the conversion, the airbags are still going to work and function properly. So we can't have anything in the way in front of either one. We potentially could still put uh, maybe a gauge cluster uh, back on the top of the dashboard or another possibility is to do something on the pillar on the side here. You can get uh, little display gauge holders from hot rod mail order places. So that's another possibility there too. Now while we're digging around under the hood, we should be thinking about how we turn the car on and off. And in a gasoline car, a uh, spark goes into the engine through these spark plug wires. And if we follow those back, we see a distributor and a cable that provides the power to that. We follow that back, we get to this doohickey here. And if we follow it to these, these are little 12 volt wires that only put out 12 volts when the car has the key in it to the on position. So if we want just sort of a master on off switch for our electric vehicle, these wires right here are perfect to use for that. So we'll take out the engine, we'll get rid of that, but uh, we'll keep these wires here and we can tap into those for our master on off switch. Now another thing you wanna do is check the overall uh, body and mechanical soundness of the vehicle. For example, I just put a mirror down on the ground for an easier view up underneath the car. And we can see here there's quite a bit of rust on that rocker panel. Now the rest of the underside of the car is actually pretty good, but uh, we want to watch out for rust because when we're doing an electric car, uh, really it's the body itself that of, of the car that we're, we're buying here. Um, the electrical motor system is going to last forever. We're going to have this car for a long time, so we want to make sure that we start off with something decent. And that may mean being a little more picky about uh, what kind of condition the body of the car is in. Now, when I got my Metro, it did have a little bit of rust on the rocker panels, but really not too bad, especially considering that in my area, we use a lot of salt on the road in the winters, and um, rust is, is pretty much inevitable, but we do want to minimize it. So here we're looking at the front of the car. I put a mirror on the ground just to give you a little better view. From down there, we can see the oil filter. We're definitely not going to need that. In fact, once we're done converting a car, it's never going to have the oil changed again, ever. Right next to it, we can see the exhaust pipe coming out of the engine. Uh, we're going to remove the exhaust pipe, the muffler, and the entire exhaust system. And actually that tunnel where it goes down the middle of the car is a great place to run all our power cabling later. Uh, right here is an upside down view of that third mount. That's the one that connects from the transmission to the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, we're going to keep that and reuse that, but as we take the transmission out, we'll just need to temporarily remove that.
Often one of the first things we think of in an electric vehicle conversion is that we're no longer going to need the muffler. We're also not going to need the exhaust pipe, the catalytic converter, or any other of that hot, rusty, loud stuff on the car. Now that we've taken a look at all the internal combustion elements, let's start ripping them out. Here's some YouTube videos of me removing the engine and the gas tank from my Geo Metro. So as you can see, I'm now draining the gas tank, and it, uh, well, I was just trying to empty the, uh, the little hose that I just cut, but apparently I'm emptying the gas tank. I don't know how, but somehow it, it's siphoning out of the top, and it's not stopping, so, uh, my whole garage explodes, uh, goodbye everybody! I found a little tiny bottle marked corks, and sure enough inside, there's, a. Uh, some little tiny corks. So I'm gonna see if I can find one of these. If I can find a little tiny cork that'll uh, stop that. Okay, I think I've taken off everything that holds the gas tank onto the car. So now we're gonna lower it and uh, hopefully it'll come right off. 